With Cal Crutchlow. Cal, first of all, many congratulations earning your motor GP ride with Tech 3 Yamaha. Thank you. It's fabulous to have a British rider at the very top, and we've got you uh, this season, Cal. A few changes for 2011. There's a new start finish straight this year, new sections of the circuit being opened up to get fans closer to the action and a state-of-the-art pit and paddock complex. And you've seen it for the first time today. What are your impressions? Seeing the, the new pit lane and the new pit wall in um, that you know, people are going to be hanging the signs out from and it's going to make some entertaining starts um, for, for Moto Grand Prix bikes. And uh, I look forward to going into Turn 1 in June. You had a fantastic ride here at Silverstone and World Superbikes. Two great wins against Johnny Ray. Now you're at the top level. Describe what you think it's going to be like here at the British round of MotoGP and the British crowd behind you. Yeah, it's good. You know, it's a nice feeling to feel that you are the sole Brit in, in Moto Grand Prix. Yeah, the pressure of racing and the prestige about the event with the fans, the media, the circuit. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be fantastic. We all came here in World Superbike and said, what a fantastic circuit. Um, Moto Grand Prix riders came here and said, one of the best circuits they've got on the calendar. Now we have a new pits and paddock complex. We have new open areas for the spectators, for the general public, new banks, new viewing. You know, 64,000 seats available in grandstands to see throughout the circuit. You know, you can't ask for much more, and I think it's going to be a fabulous year. What you've experienced today for the first time is the wing. It's amazing. You know, I've been to many, many circuits around the world with, with the job that I do, and to go to something like that and think it's in Britain, in our own country, is, is phenomenal, you know. It's superb. But tell us about the differences that you've noticed between a World Superbike and a MotoGP bike. Um, it's a big, big difference. You know, it's, uh, it's a lot to learn. The chassis, the tyres, the engine, the riders. Production-based bike, obviously, in Superbikes and Supersport that I've been used to racing. And now jump on a full Grand Prix machine that's not made for anything but racing. Um, it's, yeah, it's a big difference, but I'm enjoying it, I'm learning. Racing against the toughest competition in the world, and they are seriously, seriously fast riders, you know. But uh, we've got another test next week, and then we've got the first race on March the 20th. Finally, Cal, have you got a message for the fans who'll be coming to MotoGP here at Silverstone on June the 10th to 12th? Yeah, I'll do my best for them. Come here, support me, support Silverstone as a circuit. Come and check out the new facilities because I think it's phenomenal and everybody who's visited here today thinks it's phenomenal. So it's not just about that, the events that are going on over the weekend for the three days, you know, over the whole weekend. I think it'll be great to, to come here and view, not just to watch Moto Grand Prix racing, but to take in that as well. And hopefully in the Moto Grand Prix race, I'll do the best job I can as well.